Hey guys, YouTubeness here. Um, this is actually my second try at recording this because I failed. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to use Microsoft uh, Expression Encoder 4 um, to change a file you have filmed using the recording part of the software. Um, and we are going, after you save it as a job file, I'll show you how to do that later. In a different video, you open your Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. Um, it's taking a while. It seems to be a slow program, by the way. It's what I use to film my Minecraft series. I'm actually using the recording part of the software right now to record all this that's happening right now. Um, okay, so you have your job file, you have your saved video, you actually don't need to save it as a job file. Once you have your video and you have it in here, um, you can play it, YouTube is here. you can listen to it, um, you can edit it in here if you would like. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to change the settings so it is viewable on YouTube. So, you go over to your sidebar over here in this corner and you click in the encode tab. Say if I was over here, I would click here into the encode tab. The output format needs to be as Windows Media File in the encode tab. And you go to the output tab, a little odd that that's not in there, and in the job input section, you need to have subfolder by job ID checked. Then go over here to the file menu and you click encode. I'm actually not going to encode this because I already have um, I've already encoded this and I've already uploaded it to YouTube. Um, so let's cancel that. That is actually all I need to show you for this part. But then you need to go out to your desktop. It will have the name of your computer right here and the date and the time in the folder. Um, I don't know whether it says AM. I have to fix that. Um, you will have. Let's actually just delete that. I don't need that anymore. In the folder, um, you can name it whatever you want. You will receive your video. It should automatically save it as a WMV. You will have a settings.dat file. You'll have a screen capture if you choose to. Oh, otherwise known as um, And you'll have a screen capture for your opener if you so desire. You do not need one. Let's close that. Um, so yeah, that's actually pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.